Good morning, YouTube. Tennessee Wingman with you here, hanging out in the shop today. I want to address a subject that I started back in June. I was put in the hospital, diagnosed with diabetes, and I gave you an update. I haven't spoke much about it since. So let me tell you where I'm at. I'm doing great. I took it upon myself that I come out of the hospital, they tell you, you're gonna be on insulin, you're gonna be taking two shots a day, your whole life's gonna change. I didn't accept that, I did not accept that I would have to take shots the rest of my life. I know diabetes is a debilitating disease and it can be life-changing. It has been life-changing for me. Uh, I did not want to be on insulin. I did not want to be a uh, slave to that. Set about myself doing research and reading and reading and reading, and I found that I had to change everything. I could not eat before uh, I didn't think you could eat spaghetti without bread. I would not go out to a restaurant and have a steak without rolls, dinner rolls. Uh, everything had to have biscuits. Uh, to eat breakfast, you had to have biscuits, toast, butter, uh, all of that stuff. Southern comfort living, you know, that's the kind of eating I did. Uh, and it told on me, I let it get out of hand and I got real heavy, real heavy. I started this uh, journey at 325 pounds. Well, I cut out just about all carbohydrates. I eat very few. Just about all sugar. I eat very few sugars. I don't drink sugars. I don't drink empty calories. Uh, you have to do that. And I have gotten my blood sugar numbers down to around 100 to 110 on a daily basis, morning and night. I no longer take shots, insulin shots. The doctor took me off of those about two months ago and said uh, just to keep an eye on it, if things got out of hand, I could go back to taking the shot. I choose not to do that. <laughs> I started exercising. At, you can imagine at 325 pounds, you don't get a whole lot of exercising done. Well, you, uh, you have to start out slow. You have to start out a little bit of walking each day, but you gotta do it each day. You can't say, I'll do a little bit here, I'll do a little bit there. It has to become a routine. Uh, and I learned a lot of that from the Army. I was in the Army almost eight years, and they taught you how to exercise. So, I started a little at a time, eating right and exercising. This morning I weighed 257 pounds. I got about another 60 to 65 pounds I'd like to lose. I'd like to be under 200 pounds. I don't know if I want to go <laughs> much lower than that, at one point, when Becky and I got married, I was 165 pounds. I don't know if I can ever get that low again. But I'll give it a shot. How about that? Anyway, your energy level goes up. You can get things done. Before, I could not have finished this marvelous shot that I'm blessed with. I could not have done that. Now I have done that and I'm looking for other projects to do. I want to keep myself busy. I have lots of energy and I don't have a whole lot to do. You know, you're, I'm out here in the country and I'm retired and so I spent a lot of time with the bullet. I'm not sure if you can see that because of the sun. The motorcycle. My 2012 Honda Goldwing is a magnificent machine. I'm very fortunate to be able to ride that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, 
There it is. Let's see if we can see a better view of it. The lighting is not so good in here today. Too bright outside. Beautiful day. Beautiful day out there. So anyway, if you're in that spot, you've been diagnosed with diabetes. Don't give up. You can do it. I have seen so many people say, I have diabetes. I have to take a shot. I have to take the pills. I have to do this. My goal is by the end of next year, I'm off the pill. I mean, I, I got off the shot. I want to be off the pill. But the only way to do that is to get myself into physical condition. And I'm working slowly on that. So as I continue to work, I think you guys can do it too. I won't give up. I got a goal. Hey, a bright sunshine out here today. Painted a wonderful, wonderful place thing. Let me show you what I've been up to now. That was my uh, alarm going off telling me that somebody's in the driveway. No kidding. Anyway, so instead of walking now, I have graduated. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. That is the best $110 I have ever spent. I got that bicycle, that stationary bike, for $110 off of Amazon. I had it two or three years. I never used it. This morning I did over 30 minutes on that at an average speed of uh, about 11 to 15 miles an hour. The last five minutes was at 16 miles an hour. And if you don't think 16 miles an hour is very much, get on one of those things and run it up to 16 miles an hour. See how long you last. <laughs> anyway, you know, you reset the resistance. You keep going up. I keep doing that a little bit. So I'm doing real well with that. Uh, you got to be on it long enough to break a good sweat. I know that's not a fun thing to do. Nothing's fun. Put some music out here. Get on the bike. 30 minutes later, you're done. You feel great. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys, you don't have to live with it. You only have to do it the level that you want to do it. We went out for my birthday. I had been good for about three months. We went to the Shell House in Savannah. The Shell House is uh, crab legs and right there on the coast. Man, it's just fantastic. At the end of dinner, I said, dessert. Hmm. I haven't had dessert in a long time, so let's give it a shot. Peach cobbler with ice cream. I thought one or two bites and I'll have to be done with this. I couldn't put it away. It's the best peach cobbler I ever had in my life. Maybe it's because I haven't had any sugar. But anyway, it was really good. And the next morning, my sugar was 119. I can live there. I can live there. But you can't do the sugars and you can't do the sweets and you can't do the carbohydrates all day, every day. Get off of that stuff. Get out and do some walking. Save your life a better a better, I'm not trying to say this, quality of life. I don't want to be disabled. So, until next time, Tennessee Wingman out.